I love Twisby fountain pens and it seems like you do too. I received several emails over the last couple of weeks asking me to take a look at some more Twisby fountain pens and give you a quick review. So I'm going to take a look at one today that you might not be that familiar with and I will certainly let you know if I love it or if I think it's a lemon. This is Graham with Knight's Writing Company and today I'm going to take a look at the Twisby Vac Mini. Now the Vac Mini is a shorter pen. Here's the Vac Mini with the Twisby Eco. So the question is, is that a deal breaker? Or is, it, or is it a good size for regular hands? And what the heck is this thing? And what has it got to do with the Twisby Vac Mini? I'm gonna show you in just a few minutes. Now, when you unbox your Twisby Vac Mini, um, you're gonna find it's packaged exactly like every other Twisby you can get. Let's see if we can take that out there and throw the cardboard box and the foam to one side here. And if I open it up there, there's the pen in all its glory. Wonderful. Just take these little plastic widgets off here and sure enough, there is your new fountain pen. Now, the other thing to note, like every other Twisby that you can get, um, you also get... Here we go. Uh, you also get some silicon gel here. You get a couple of uh, extra grommets there. And of course you get, uh, let's see if I can pull that out. You get a little tool here so that you can take your pen apart and uh, clean it and maintain it. And I will turn that around there so you can see the Twisby logo. And I will make sure that, uh, that I show you that in later videos. Now I had uh, posed the question, what the heck is this? Well, the answer is it's actually an inkwell. And I'm gonna move the pen to one side and I'm gonna fill it with j Harbin Pearl Noir and then we're gonna put that into the Vac Mini and see how it works. Okay, well, the Vac Mini is a vacuum filling pen. And so uh, I've already filled one up here, which I'm gonna throw to the side here. Um, I did a little bit of a test, made a little bit of a mess. The idea here is that the pen itself has uh, effectively a plunging mechanism here and it creates pressure. And when it gets to the bottom, it creates a negative pressure and fills up the barrel with ink. And the way that that works with this, this Twisby inkwell is take off the lid here, the colored lid here, and you simply screw the pen and the nib inside. And I will go through this in another video specifically for this inkwell. And you gotta make sure, and this is a mistake I just made, you gotta make sure that this is tightly on because obviously if, if you have pressure uh, from the pen going into this inkwell here and you don't have this tightly on here then the ink is going to leak out and what you want to do is you want to pull this out and give it two or three squeezes there you go and you don't have to hold it upside down but you can if you want to and at that point the pen should be full and I'm just going to tighten that up and I'm going to unscrew the pen like so now, just put the cap back on here so I don't spill it and move it out the way. And there's the pen. And to be honest with you, a little bit of tissue, just to clean it off is a good idea, but you don't need too much at all. It fits really nicely into that inkwell. Now I had said that the Vac Mini was a, a shorter pen and you can see it here uh, versus the, uh, the Eco. And in fact, it's about, it's got to be just over half an inch, I think, um, in, in terms of length. The Eco is half an inch bigger, perhaps. And the question is, is that a deal breaker? Well, it might be. If you've got big hands, it could be a deal breaker. Uh, for those of you who have small hands, it certainly is not a deal breaker. And in fact, um, I, actually, I actually quite enjoy using this pen, even though it's a little, it's a little shorter there. You can see, you know, it's, it's just about just about comfortable for writing but in fact it actually posts extremely well as well it's got a screw mechanism whereby you can 
you can just screw the cap on the back of the pen and that extends it. Now it, it has the usual Yovo nib that you expect from Twisby and it has the usual build quality you expect from Twisby as well. And in fact, it's, it's a really cool pen. I actually really, really like using this pen. So let's take a look and see how this pen writes. And I'm going to write with it posted on a Clairefontaine Triumph writing pad. Let's take a look here. Love it. <laughs> you know what? It's got the usual German Yovo nib. What can I say? Pretty much every Twisby fountain pen from the swipe all the way through to um, to the Eco, through to the Vac Mini, right? Really nicely. And uh, actually, um, this pen has the same size nib that you would find on the Eco as well. Lovely. Love it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I know I always say that, but I think it's true. I think you will love this pen. Little cartoon character there. Beautiful. Thanks for watching the video. And if you do like our videos, please hit the subscribe button below and find us at www.nitrewriting.ca. And I'll see you next time.